we got a question from Chris. And in this question from Chris, um, I, I had to go on to my NFL Sunday thing. And in the question, my first thought was, come on, man. So here we go from Chris. I was reading through some older articles and you mentioned that if we add in the push-up in the HKC3 swing, gobble squat, Turkish getup, it would provide a good program for health and longevity. So what does the push-up do that the Turkish getup, swing, and goblet squat cannot do. And my notes to myself right here are, come on, man. <laughs> so, the push-up, it's, it's a push. And if you do a lot of them, you're, you'll have doorway, door-wide shoulders and titanic triceps and purgatorial pectorals. It's a pushing exercise. The downside of the, the HKC3 is there's no real true push. Um, that's why when I teach the HKC, I always teach people the half kneeling press and the press as just a sprinkle on. And I go in great depth into the push up too. It's a push. There is no push technically in the HKC3. Secondly, can I indeed fulfill all my bases of strength with body weight and kettlebells? Yeah. Uh, if, I mean, not if you want to be a world-class power lifter. That would be stuff you do in the off-season or in general training, yeah. Uh, yes, but not if you want to be a world-class Olympic lifter. You'd have to snatch and clean a jerk, I think. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it would depend on what you think your your bases are. Uh, here's one thing. I mean, if you get yourself up to... Well, I mean, if you do the 10,000 swing challenge with with a big kettlebell and you can not, and you're knocking off push-ups and pull-ups between each round uh, and, and goblet squats, you know, if you do the, follow the original program, uh, you're going you're gonna to have, have a nice, strong engine. In fact, if you get into a deadlift contest and you haven't done, you'll be, you'll be a solid engine. Specifically, can a push-up Turkish get-up combo, appropriate progression or number of reps, fulfill your minimum of pressing strength? Can goblet squats and sings, swings of some kind fulfill your minimums of pulling weight off the floor. So I would say without a doubt, there, there, there's no question in my mind. Um, but again, you, you always have to make sure it, it's two things. Uh, uh, and I think it's, yeah, there's two things, Chris, as a strength coach, I'm always trying to get you to think about. Number one is gaps. What are the gaps in your training program? And for me, basically, I usually see three gaps. The person doesn't, the, their pr training program has no loaded carry. So there's no farmer walks, prowlers, sled pulls. We can throw hill sprints and stadium steps in there if you'd like. Um, no bear crawl, uh, bear hug carries. There's no loaded carries. Remember, Milo or Milo, he didn't, remember, as I said last time, he didn't pick up the bowl and tricep press it. He carried it. The second big gap I usually see in training programs is a lack of authentic squatting and sometimes no squats at all. And you don't necessarily have to go super heavy on squats, but you should have the movement with load. And then the third area is no groundwork. Uh, and that's what we call this, what's part of the sixth move in, our, in my, my family of teaching this. Um, never in the training program, they see the person getting up and down off the ground. Uh, there's no tumbling, there's no groundwork. It's like the ground is like, you know, you don't touch it. Um, the nice thing about what I'm seeing here uh, from, from your idea, you, you, you're covering those uh, fairly well here. Uh, one quick thing, uh, sometimes I include the Turkish getup uh, both as groundwork and as a loaded carry. Uh, it's just, the more time you spend looking at something, sometimes you're more like, huh, uh, that's interesting. So yes, but the second thing is this, so gaps first, and then number two is standards. Um, as a discus thrower, you know, you need to clean 300 pounds. You need to squat 450. You need to bench 400. Those are the minimums. So, um, uh, I read a lot of work from the European, uh, track and field community, their standards, and I'll change them from, I'm changing these from kilos to pounds for clarity, but it's a 200 pound snatch, 300 pound clean, 400 pound squat. And it doesn't matter what event you're doing from pole vaulter to thrower. You've got to be that. That's your base. That's your standard. But if you're not an elite thrower, 
you don't need those standards. So you just need to figure out <clears throat> what would be a good standard for you. Thank you, Chris.